Blair almost took it away. Stripped back through center now, and it's Isaac Trombley trying to make his way ahead. The Warriors intercept that and turn it back up ice. Here's Duclair down the left wing with a shot off the right pad. Norlin a try, pushed to the net, scores! Brennan Nelson right in the middle, buries it past the blocker side of Rowan Clark. And the Warriors strike first in game one and take a one nothing lead. To, to the middle, Sharoon can't find the handle. Brought the other way by Erickson. Nice play by Norland to poke that puck off his stick. And Vernon lucky there, they had an extra man on the ice but got him back in time. Here's Parks right side, scores! Lee Parks from the right circle comes in with a shot that just gets underneath the blocker of Hamming and in, and Parks ties the game at one with his first of the playoffs at 641 of this opening period. Here's Parks down low, side of the net, put to the goal by Walker Erickson that was blocked off by Brooks. Back down below the goal line on the blocker side of Hamming. Big battle for the puck now as Parks will gather it, centering a pass, and Barr scores. Griffin Barr from the left circle on a centering pass from Lee Parks. And Vernon strikes on the power play and takes a 2-1 lead. First lead of the playoffs for the Vipers, who got scored on first but have scored the last two unanswered markers. And it's Parks from below the goal line who put it back to the front of the net. Oh, Norland will take it over at the left point. Norland slides it left circle. McDonald down low. Here's Moriello with it now. Back to the middle. Norland high slot. Waits. He shoots. That was blocked in front. Moriello on a backhand to the net. He scores! Jaden Moriello, 25 goals in the regular season. And he floats a backhander past Clark on the power play to keep this game 2-2 as the Warriors tie it up on the power play marker. Pass out of the reach of Kyla Green, so it's Max Borovinsky will lay it along. Aiden third right side, pushed up the ice there by Compton, cut off nicely there by the Warriors in neutral ice, so Parks on a secondary opportunity, trying to advance his way out, giving up and a chance for the Warriors here. Nelson left circle in front, Porchetta, he scores! What a pass, what a shot, what a goal. Nick Porchetta gives the Warriors a 3-2 lead in the second period. This is the BCHL playoffs, of course, presented to us by Shaw. Puck sent down inside of the Vernon zone. Here's Connor Elliott back with it. Left wing feed now, Isaac Trombley trying to make his way out to center. He'll find Eden Reeves, who gets this puck back inside of Vernon territory. Here's Brendan Nelson in the middle. Oh, scoring. What a goal by Chris Duclair. And the Warriors lead 4-2. Duclair set up in the middle for a one-timer that caught Rowan Clark off his angle and off edge as Clark looked like he was maybe able to make a pad stop with it, but it blew right past him. Duclair's first playoff goal, and the Warriors lead 4-2. Center that Hilditch kicked down. Loose puck comes for Pakalak, who carries back in left side. Pakalak to the middle, down the right wing, into the right circle, stopping up here in the right wing half board. Pakalak to the corner, a centering pass, comes loose, left side scores. What a shot up and over the blocker side of Caden Hamming. And a terrific shot placed up and over the goal. And it's Hank Cleaves who makes it a one goal game with 6.53. And a face off to come outside the Vernon zone. Don't think Clark's gonna come back on the ice. So we'll stay with a six on five attack, or a five on five attack. Face off just outside of the Vipers end, off the draw, push to the middle, Hilditch to the empty net, fired it just wide, and the buzzer will sound. This one's over. West Kelowna, a one nothing series lead, and a four three game one victory.